So we're gonna break this cute little guy out of prison. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon, my name is Volans, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finally, finally got done with the Forsaken Fortress, so now we can move on to the main part of our journey, the, well, starting now on the Windfall Island. Here we met the Kina Red Lions who told us that Ganon was controlling that evil bird and that we need to do some things in order to begin our journey. So I need to walk in here to Windfall Island and I need to find a sail for that big guy. <clears throat> and because I like to get things done as soon as possible, I'm going to go to the main thing first. First, I'm going to go do this little minor thing first, and then I'm going to go do the major thing. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to break this cute little guy out of prison. Remember him? Yeah, that's Tingle from Majora's Mask. Except for, well, more cartoony. I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, sir, you could by chance be a fairy. Goodness, did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long for one of the fairy folk. And yet, I must I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. Where's the, like a key or something? Oh, right here. Pop. Welcome, Mr. Tingle. Yay. Hooray! Thank you all so very much. Here is Tingle's heartful gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle. Kalu, Limpa, become an item. This is the Tingle Tuner. If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect a Game Boy Advance to your Nintendo GameCube to talk to Tingle. After connecting the Game Boy Advance to controller, socket 2, 3, or 4, set the Tingle Tuner to Y, Z, or X to call Tingle. Unfortunately, I have a, I have a GameCube, or I have a um, Game Boy Advance, but I'm not playing on a GameCube, so I'm not going to be using the Tingle Tuner at all. No ma the only reason I really got him out of prison is eventually I need him for the main quest, but that's coming up that's a ways that's actually end game i believe anyway now no matter how far we travel from this dingy, dingy cell our souls will be as one splendid tingle is going to get ready to go to the realm of the fairies so you just wait here okay sir ah i was forgetting something important oh mr fairy you want to come to my island don't you don't you don't you i got tingle's chart Excuse me. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to the sea and then press up on the D-pad and check your charts to find out. When you go out to sea, open it. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Huh. Tired. If you ever need help with charts, don't forget it. Goofy guy. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the main quest. Da 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 I'm gonna try to get some potions. Maybe I need I might need an empty bottle, but hopefully not. Dude always creeps me out. Hello, hello. You are standing in one of the only choo choo jelly shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're just they are too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. 
Hmm? What's that? What's you jelly, you ask? Looking for looking somewhat bewildered? Oh sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to those questions proclaiming themselves to be true. Why it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste with empty bag. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? No, I do not. Alright, so I guess I do need an empty bottle. Alrighty, so we'll come back to that a while from now. This dude right here that looks like an Eskimo is going to sell us a sale. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading into this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say are, you are a traveler as well. Oh yes indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my, own, it is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit worried in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel to the dangerous, travel the dangerous seas about their town. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in the town, so I am I, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does eighty rubies sound? Uh, I wish I had eighty rubies. Oh. Oh dear me, sadly I have nothing else I could possibly sell you. I have not but my hoodie coat and its keepsake and it is a keepsake for my dear dear mother. Okay, so I need to get some rubies then. So I guess that's what we do first. There is almost eighty. Dane. Okay. Let's see what's up here. I don't actually remember. I want to say this is the... Oops, sorry about that. I want to say this is the windmill, but I don't remember. It's a switch for the windmill. Yeah, that's right. I don't remember how to do it. I need to get rupees, though. That's most important. Ugh, sorry about the sniffling, guys. Uh, maybe, I think there's some, a way to get some rupees in here. The bomb shop. Nope, I think I need bomb bag anyway. Go back to that pot I saw earlier, I just broke with 20 rupees in it. Might be back there for me to break again. Oh, actually, I can do this. It's only a green, though. That's unfortunate. There is something around back I can do, though. I think there's some stuff back there. Whoops. That was a mistake. Great. Now I gotta swim all the way back. So I heard that there's a bug in this game. I can't remember it. Actually, no, I think I do remember it. I have to do this. Whoops. Go back down. And then slide all the way over here. And if memory serves, I slide right through the bridge. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's funny. Pot right here, I can break. Ah, oh, is he serious? Just two more? That's terrible, man. Just can't you just give me just what I need? Another pot. There's a blue. Alright, let's go get it.
Please buy that from me. 80 rubies. Yeah, I'll buy it. There's that. The boat sail. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oops. Come on. There we go. Where you at, Kenny Red Lions? Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Right. What's up, little piggy? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come to daddy. No, come here. Oh, come on. No. Ugh. Fine, never mind. I guess you don't want to get caught. Maybe you do. Do it like this. Hey! Oh, that's right, this one farts. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I don't want no farting piggy. Oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, haven't you? Very well, then, I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hall and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you got to Y, Z, or X and press the same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. That forward arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use left, up, right, down, and the main joystick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You all, you can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Ah, one more thing. When you're out of sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press the up button on the D-pad, open the chart, and confirm the position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let me carry you to the east. That's where we gotta go. Let's head over there. Yeah, so, uh, whoops. Down here. Whoops, come on. I believe it's the Forsaken Fortress. No, wait, no. No, that's when. No, that's. That's. Outset. This, I believe, is the Forsaken Fortress. Yeah, okay. And then right here is Windfall. Then when we're heading over here, I don't remember what the island's name is called. But, I always liked it. It was kind of cool looking. Also, did you hear that? Reminds you of a missile expansion, doesn't it? Uh, apparently, below there, below, like, in the underwater, where you hear that, uh, sound, you can lift up, like, chests, eventually, once we get, like, a crane or whatever. It allows you to, uh, basically just... Like, pick up chests that, um, could be used later on. Anyway, guys, welcome to the Great Sea. Pretty cool, huh? It's pretty big. I mean, it's really big. Kind of boring at times, you know? There's not much going on. But it's, it's beautiful, especially in the HD version. Wow, it's, it's really cool in the HD version. Fortunately, though, I don't have... Let's put away the sail. Yeah, unfortunately though, I don't have the Wii U version. So we'll be using the basic GameCube version. Still looks beautiful with the dolphin retextures and whatnot. Or the dolphin HD not retextures. Alrighty. This island that we're coming up on. I think. No, this is not the island I was thinking of. That's later on. This is Dragon Roost Island, one of my favorite music tracks of the entire game on this island. There, on the horizon. That is our destination, dude. Dragon Roost Island.
High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valo. You must go see this dragon and request for him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask for the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct, a th conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch anything. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting the C-stick up, down, and right. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Hold left on the joystick to change the rhythm and then match the rhythm until up, right, left, and then down. That's it, dude. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting right. You would do well to remember that. You received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Set it to Y, Z, or X and use it by pressing whatever button and set to it. You set to it. To conduct, use C stick to choose notes. Don't tilt left, right, up, or down to conduct 3-4 time. Hold left to conduct 4-4, four, four. hold right to conduct 6-4. Alrighty, so we... We have to go check out the sound. No. Oh. No, oh, that's right. Bomb flowers. The Gordon's magical fruit. No, 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 no. Or magical crot, not magical fruit. Beans is a magical fruit. <laughs> Let's see if there's something up here I can use instead. Yeah, there are some bombs up here, okay. Bomb bag. Alrighty, what's the sense say? Oh. I think I need something to hit that. Like an arrow or a boomerang or something. Can't do that yet. Take that rupee. Thank you. Alrighty, what's you say? Come on. Male center to the right. Ow. I fell. Okay. Not what I meant. Whoops, I did not mean to pick that up. I don't know why I picked it up. Alright, come around here. Gosh dang it, not what I meant. Let's see if I can get it all the way over here. Yep. Alrighty. Time to settle again. Let's 
slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go. Take this bomb. Drop it over there. Whoops, ow. Hurt me, didn't break the rock. Ow! My god, come on, man. I have to hold out your shield, but. Oh, hey, look, it's our Rito friend from before. Dude? Dude, is that you? It's, it is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far with one for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have, I have an idea, dude. Would you like to meet our chief... Chieftain? Okay. I told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will be befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir. It, it's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, dude. I'll be waiting. Alright, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. In this episode, we conquered Windfall Island. Got the sail. We sailed way over here to Dragon Rest Island, and we did very little. Nonetheless, though, as for the video at hand, please leave a like if you like this video. That's what the like button's for. Also, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode, so take care.